ready to put those powder coat parts back in the car and I don't have to ever remove the bumper ever again. This will be the last time. Right, I'm going to put a camera on the stand for time lag and you'll be able to see the next hour or two I remove the bumper and put it back on with those on it and that will be awesome. Okay, so I just got the parts back from the powder coat company. Also, I stripped the wheel. Now it's uh, bare bone. The repowder is the same color as the APR. Okay, this is the brakes, the invoice. This is the brakes as the, between the two legs I used before. I had different color. I had to same blast it, then repowder coat this to match. So, it looks really good. Nice and clean. Beautiful. So just kind of an idea, this is the APR's uh, power coat, and because they live, well, the, the company APR is really close to where I live, I stopped by and asked them if they, they can help me to um, point out where they power coat their stuff, or they power coat in-house. They actually ship their stuff out locally, so I was able to get hold of the local powder coater who did APR power coating, and applied exactly the same powder for all this, for all this, so uh, this is the powder sample they give me. So we can do something else in the future. Or then lay this out. So you guys can see in the camera. See all the eight pieces of this. This is Ivan's, just in case if I need it as an extension. Yeah, this is where I stripped. I got stripped this, which I already did. And it's powder called this right now, at the very moment. Okay. And, of course, the beautiful bracket. Both of them. Both brackets. This will go permanent behind the car. So this afternoon I will take the bunker off and put this in. And for Ivan's wing, this is the wing mounts. So they will go back on here as such. Beautiful. And the new bracket will go mount straight into it. So they will all look the same. Finish. So um, Ivan had this once. I'm going to see if I can find a black one. So it'll look perfect. Go with the black so you won't see any more chrome-ish. This is the only chrome part will go on it. So I'm going to Home Depot. I ordered all the screws for the other parts online, but I totally forgot about this. So I'm going to Home Depot or Lowe's, see if I can find a black one for this. So I went for a few hours. This is, figure out this is a quarter inch dash 20 and a one inch and a quarter length. I end up found the, this and the Lowe's lady told me they sell, they're selling Ace Hardware and I found it. Not just that, they even give me the washer, the black washer, and only a few cents in comparison. You guys could tell. So the whole thing only cost me nine dollars. I got twelve of them. All I need is eight. So now I have twelve, which is perfect. Now, we got it all set up in black, nut, and screw, and powder coated. So this is the original foam core I was using to test. Just do a quick test. A very quick test. Yeah, that will do. That will fit perfect. This looks really good. After the powder, their local powder coat company, it's a big warehouse. Uh, they decide to help me out in a such small quantity and particle my bracket to match the APR brackets. Gorgeous. So I like to record this in a time lab on my camera. So it takes about one frame every second. We'll compress this entire two hour event or one hour event down to only a minute or 30 seconds. In a way for me to record and document the process in case I forgot or I somehow thought of something I need to do but the bumper is already on in the future I can I can be able to see where the parts or things I need to mount or you know uh, things I need to do like for example there's a safety bumper once it's off there's actual metal bumper we can mount stuff to so that's also a good idea if we need to do it a different type of mount so, I want to see if I can do a, instead of sticking up, try this one. So I got the Loctite, 
Now, a moment ago, what are you seeing? It's the bracket behind here, the metal bracket attached to the car. This is really tight. Um, I have to do one turn on this, just get tighter. That one is super tight. This one is, I guess, in the back of that is a receiver. It's basically as tight as I can get to. This was loose. So, I guess the plate was slightly moving over time. Um, so, that's being locked up. What I'm going to do right now is to apply lock tight in the back of this um, bracket inside of this. Blue lock tight, not a red one. So there's a chance that I can remove this down the road. It's blue lock tight. And I'm going to hang down this first onto the trunk. So this is a much shorter one. And it should work because it has a smaller piece in the back. Switch it. See if I can do a better job with this guy. Before, before I did this, the wing, the bracket here was loose, and that was the one, one bolt loose, and also just found out the behind the chassis one was loose, so I tightened it up. Now, it's very stiff, it's not going anywhere, just need some muscle, tie it up. Like I put everything back together, it looks great, it looks fantastic. On different angle, just perfect, I don't have to, I can switch different wings, without keep taking the bumper off, or I can drive around with no wing, sometimes I don't want to have wing. I want that smooth aerodynamic feel. So that will look beautiful. Gorgeous. So YouTube has a feature. Um, it's a new feature if you go into the menu where you hit play and on top of it there's straight dots. You go to the options. You can actually speed up or slow down the video by up to 2.5%. But 2.5 times. So slow down one ton, 50 half a, half a speed whatever so in a way that will help you if you want to see how i remove or put on the bumper you can actually slow down and watch how all this goes so while you're doing that you might want to turn the sound off because my voice will sound super slow okay or it sounds super fast this wasn't that hard when you have the impact driver. I would recommend to get an impact driver. I tried with my hand. It took all day. With impact driver, within an hour, half an hour, everything is back in. And of course, impact driver is much faster than a normal screwdriver, which will come loose. So it's done. Looking so good. 